Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Urban Outdoors. Hey, I'm Urban, and I'm glad you're here. Happy Meerschaum Monday. Today I'm smoking this Meerschaum pipe. I don't know much about it, other than it is very old. It is in not very good shape. I dropped it several years ago in the snow, and it cracked. If you look right here, you may be able to see if the camera will pick it up, a hairline fracture. Well, it's not a hairline fracture, it's a clean break. It broke into two pieces. The stem is also in very bad shape because it is a very old pipe, but I still smoke it. You know, I guess they still do this on YouTube Pipe Community. Back in the old days on the YouTube Pipe Community, five, six, seven years ago, we had Meerschaum Mondays, where you smoked a Meerschaum pipe, shared a little bit about it. And you guys are probably getting tired of hearing this, but this was my father's pipe. And, uh, like I say, I broke it several years ago, back when I used to smoke pipes. It, it snowed. And uh, I dropped it. It fell on the ice and cracked in half. I was able to glue it back together, though, as you can see. And uh, I'm still able to smoke it. So that's the good news. I kind of like it. I do want to get a new stem for it, though. I think that if it had a bent stem, it would look better. It would be more like a Sherlock Holmes looking pipe. I don't know the style of this because I'm not really good on my pipe styles. I'm not, you know, educated on that. If you know what this style of pipe is called, let me know in the comments section down below. That's one thing that I plan on doing in 2020 is learning more about pipe shapes and just a little bit more about pipes. And instead of smoking all my dad's old pipes, I do want to buy some new ones myself. So, another beautiful spring day here in South Carolina. Uh, even though it's approaching mid-January, I don't even know what the date is. It's like the 5th or the 6th. Anyway, I know it's Monday because it's Meerschaum Monday. So I'm just sitting here enjoying a pipe and uh, contemplating my next video. And what I thought I would do, guys, I'm going to go to my micro pocket organizer by Maxpedition. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to grab an item out of there and talk about it. And that item is right here. This is a Victorinox Pioneer X Alox. And uh, I want to talk about this knife. I remember when I was a small, well, not small, I was about maybe nine or ten when I was a child. One of my very first knives that my father bought me was a Swiss Army knife. And I don't know what style it was. I do remember it was just a classic red Swiss Army knife. It was about that thick. And it had tons of things in it. A toothpick and tweezers and knife blades and scissors. and I just remember it was a really big, thick, heavy pocket knife. And it was a genuine Swiss Army knife. And it was one of the first knives that my dad ever gave me. I wish I still had it, but I don't. But I never, for the rest of my life, owned another Swiss Army knife until this one. And um, I don't know why. I'm not really big into the multi tools. I've had, you know, Gerber suspensions, Leatherman. I've got a inexpensive Sheffield multi-tool now you know in my little mini repair kit never have been a multi-tool type of person I carried one for a long long time 
but found myself not using it so I put it away now I don't even know where it is but I thought I would treat myself I was at Sportsman's Warehouse this was before Christmas and I saw this I decided hey I'm gonna treat myself so I looked at the several that they had they didn't have a large selection but I do remember seeing a review on this Pioneer X and this is the Alox version and uh, I thought that would be the one for me it seems to have the things that I would be more likely to use on it so what I'm gonna do now is let's take a closer look at this Victorinox Pioneer X Alox so first thing you'll notice is it has the Swiss Army Victorinox emblem on the front of it. It's called Alox because it's got the aluminum alloy scales rather than the plastic or the micarta, whatever the other ones are. And uh, the blades on this, let me show you those. Here you have a large flathead screwdriver as well as a bottle opener and a wire stripper. If you see this little slot right here, what you do is you put your wire, I don't have one, I wish I did, you put your wire right in here, then you close the blade down onto the wire, pull the wire to strip the wire. So this one Flathead screwdriver, bottle opener, wire stripper. On the other side, you have a small flathead screwdriver and a can opener. The other blade you have, on the other side, you have an awl. And this is very sharp. And I want to show you something really cool about this in just a moment. But you can make holes with this thing rather easily. You can make holes in wood, rubber, leather, just about anything. It's a great tool. Let's say you have a piece of wood and you need to put a hole in that piece of wood. You take that all and you put it on there and you just simply start twisting it takes a little bit of pressure but not much and you just keep turning and what you're doing is you're drilling a hole with relative ease and you just keep going and uh, before you know it look there you're through to the other end you take that out and you can go to the other side you need to even it out a little bit. There you go. You got you a perfect hole. You need to put some paracord through there or whatever. Let's say you've lost a lot of weight. And you need to buckle up your belt a little bit more. But you don't want to go out and buy a new belt. No need to. Go back to where you need it. Sorry about the camera there. Just like with the wood, spin around a few times, go to the other side. There you go. Now you got you another belt hole. Precisely where you need it. Also, you have, of course, your traditional knife blade. Okay. And then you have these awesome scissors. Boy, I tell you what, these scissors are sharp too. They do a great job of cutting. Let's say you have a piece of paper you need to you need to cut. No problem. Let's say you have a piece of leather you need to trim. No problem. These things are sharp and they will do an awesome job cutting string, paracord, 
rope, paper, cardboard, leather, you name it. They'll do a good job for you. Pretty cool features, huh? I really like what this knife offers. And like I say, I'm not a multi-tool type of person, but I think that this has just enough of things that I will actually use. I don't think that it's overkill by any means. And uh, I like the way that it fits perfectly inside of this Maxpedition organizer. What I really wanted to share with you guys is what my wife did for me regarding this knife for Christmas. She took it and had it engraved. And let's see if the camera will pick this up. Let's see, I don't know if you're getting that very good or not, but you can see, hopefully, let me move the camera. Arabin. She had it engraved for me, and I thought that was a really nice little Christmas present. And uh, even though I already had the knife, getting that customized Arabin put on there, it was very special and now this is a knife that I will have forever and um, cherish it it's like I say the only Swiss Army knife that I own and it's the only one that I have owned since I was a kid so uh, yeah I just thought I would share that with you guys today hey I appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed to my channel uh, reminder I'm still doing my 600 sub uh, drawing it expires on January 15th, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Come on in, the water's fine. We'd love to have you here at Airbnb Outdoors. But anyway, that's what I got for you guys today. I appreciate you coming along in Airbnb Outdoors, and hey, until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep buffing, and keep it outdoors.